Joining us today on the Alagos Radio and the the Alagos Interview Series for our final interview to close out the 2018-2019 broadcast season is an up-and-coming Greek-American fashion designer from New York, Despina Kotsis. Uh, she's with us, joining us from New York to tell us all about her work, her designs, and how already at age 19 she's making a name for herself in the world of fashion. So, Despina, uh, welcome to our program. Program. Hi, Michael. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, this is my first podcast, so I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous, but I'm extremely excited to be on the show. So thank you. Well, we're glad to have you, and uh, I think you'll do great. So don't worry about it. And to get us started, tell us a few words about your clothing line, what it consists of, and what inspired you to start a clothing line in the first place. All right. So my clothing line name is Minx New York. And basically what it is, it's a streetwear line. Um, it's all inspired by New York City. Ever since I was little, I extremely loved fashion. And growing up, I realized that streetwear was really popular, especially in this generation today. I got a sewing machine when I was younger, but I really wasn't good at sewing. Um, I still had the passion for fashion, I guess you could say. So I didn't want to stop it. I did some more research, and as the time was going by, I was like, why not start a streetwear line? And then I just came up with the idea, and Minx New York, there you go. <laughs> All right, so Minx New York, how did you come up with the name Minx for your clothing line? So I didn't want a name that was too long, and I also realized like a lot of like clothing line names, especially streetwear, they're particularly short. So basically what I did was I was on Google one day and I just Googled like four little words that are short and I found the word minx and I was like, oh, what does that mean? I like the name. So I Googled it and minx means a young, flirty, um, cunning woman. And I was like, oh, kind of sounds like me. So I decided to use that as my streetwear line and then just add New York because I'm from New York and I got minx New York. Awesome. So your clothing line also has an interesting symbol, a pigeon, and there's a bit of a story behind this, if I'm not mistaken. So what does the pigeon symbolize? All right. So because I'm from New York, the pigeon plays like a big role. They're everywhere in the city. And what I wanted to show through my clothing line using the bird as a symbol was that um, since they're everywhere in the city, um, kids especially and even adults, we try to scare them. I remember scaring like the birds when I was little. Um, and even though we're much bigger than the birds, the birds have the power to like spread their wings and fly anywhere they want. So what I wanted people to realize is that we're like the pigeon and that we have all we all have our own like set of wings. And if we spread them, we're able to live a life full of endless opportunities. What I wanted to really focus on, um, not only my designs, but give a positive message behind this clothing line. I really want not only young people, but even like my yayam papu, like I want to inspire people to live life to their fullest and to dream big because we have the power to really do anything. So I want kids to get a good message out of this line and to chase their dreams kind of like I am right now. All right. So we're on the air with uh, Greek American fashion designer, Despina Kotsis, joining us from New York. And Despina, you mentioned before that your clothing line specializes in streetwear. And perhaps there's some that don't see this as being the most glamorous or chic thing in the world. So why did you end up choosing streetwear? So I chose streetwear um, because, first of all, it's really popular today, and like I said, I wasn't really good with the sewing machine. I'm a type of girl that likes to chill and, like, I guess sweatpants and a, like, T-shirt, and what easier way to incorporate fashion other than, like, a T-shirt? You could wear that anywhere. Um, so that's kind of why to a streetwear. I really like how my designs aren't, like, basic, I guess you could say, because a lot of streetwear lines today... They're just logos, and that's kind of not what I'm trying to focus on. I want my clothing line to be different, which is why I do all my designs myself and incorporate so many colors. Even though the shirt is, like, plain, I decide to go crazy on the design and give it color. And I really, like, believe that my streetwear is more different than the lines today. So if you could describe your look in one word or maybe in one phrase, what would it be? So... Personally, my look is edgy yet elegant. Um, I don't really have a specific look. It's kind of like what I like to wear, like when I wake up, what I'm feeling. I kind of like to wear 
jackets such as like leather and jean and then i love going heavy on accessories i love rings and earrings and all that stuff so does your street wear do your designs target a particular demographic a particular age group so my streetwear line it's honestly for everybody male female there's no specific age group which is why i love it it's honestly for everybody like i said I could see my mom wearing my shirt, um, my little cousin, my papu, my yaya. It's kind of like for everybody. And I think that's really the main beauty of streetwear because, like I said, even though it's a regular T-shirt, you don't look at it as a regular T-shirt. It's more of like art, like it's edgy, it's street, like, you know, it's hip. So, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your inspirations. Uh, what or perhaps even who serve as your inspirations in creating your designs and perhaps inspirations from the world of fashion or music or celebrity or so forth? All right. So I'm really inspired by Lady Gaga and, as well as Billie Eilish and Sia. Um, when creating my designs, um, I focus mainly on like which um, I focus on not being basic, like I said. So when I'm designing, I like to play a lot of music and that music is usually from Sia or Lady Gaga. Uh, Billie Eilish, like I said, also, she's a huge inspiration to me. Why these people are so inspiring to me is because, like I said, they're not basic. They like to go crazy with their style. Nobody tells them what to wear. Um, I'm a huge fan of Lady Gaga and her meat dress. And Billie, um, she's a young pop star now. She's getting really big. And I love her clothing and her outfits and her style, like, she doesn't care what anybody thinks. And I really, I have the same mentality. I think that's really dope. So, yeah. So speaking of inspirations and celebrities, apparently you received, you have received the support of some celebrities for your clothing line. Is that right? Yes. So um, I've got a lot of support from Nia Bardalos. She's basically my second mother. I'm really thankful for her. When I first opened my store up online um she actually found my clothing i believe i tagged her and she was a huge fan of my designs later on i got i was lucky enough to send her a shirt and um she's been helping me ever since she's reposted a picture of her in my shirt she's tweeted about my line i've also gotten support from alex and francis at teto kumpa as well as um actor jake t austin from disney channel and honestly i it's only been a year for me and i'm extremely blessed and grateful to have people like this supporting my line and my dream this is awesome so we're on the air here on the alagos radio and the the alagos interview series with greek american fashion designer despina kotsis speaking to us from new york and despina social media is a big part of what you do it's a big part of your clothing line tell us how you incorporate social media into your line and into everything that you do so social media has been a huge like role for me especially with this clothing line because that's how i spread the word i started doing my own hashtags for my clothing line hashtag minx new york hashtag minx nyc and that's how you build your audience uh people have been recognizing my line from around the world and i also do this thing called worldwide plugs um that's how I get people from around the world, different countries such as Greece and Italy, because I got I was lucky enough to travel to those places this year. I like to incorporate their culture as long uh, along with my clothing line. So what I do is I build up on hashtags such as Minx Greece or Minx Italy, and the word just keeps spreading. So I am extremely blessed to have social media in this generation because it's a, an extremely helpful tool to help me express my clothing and spread the word. And and yeah. So you brought Greece into the picture, and let's uh, expand on that. You recently had the chance, from what I understand, to visit Greece for the first time. So tell us what that experience was like, and for those who are curious, which part of Greece are you from? So I'm actually from three parts. I'm from Thessaloniki, Evia, and Chalkiviki. And I actually just went to Greece for the very first time ever with my university, St. John's University. It was an unforget unforgettable experience. Um everything was unreal. I'm very proud to call myself Greek American and to be representing the Greek community along this journey of mine. Uh, I will be going back with my family. So I'm extremely excited. But the support I have gained from the Greek community, I'm very blessed. And I have no words. They really have been supporting me with this. And I'm very thankful. So thank you guys. 
And you've also produced a Minx Grease video from uh, from what I know. So tell us about the video. Yes. Yeah, so as I said, um, I do this thing called Worldwide Plugs where I involve other countries in my clothing line. So while I went to Greece, I decided to do a Minx Grease video. And what I did was I brought my clothes to Greece and um, my models. I kind of used just regular kids from Greece. I strongly believe that there's no specific look to be a model. Um, everybody can be a model. That's why when I come out with a new design or a shirt, I just open the question up to anyone if they would like to model for me. So I found some kids in Greece, like locals, and I was like, oh, do you guys want to model for me? And they were like, sure. So what better way, you know, to get the locals to in the video? Um, we created a video to capture Greece's beauty along with Mix New York. And um, we made a video and it was really fun. I got to meet the kids and it went up on YouTube. Nia, Nia Vardalos actually reposted that. And I've also gotten reposts from other celebrities and people. And it was awesome. So when I go back to Greece, I would love to make another one. And I think it's a good way to bring other cultures along with my clothing line, my dream, and also New York, because there's so much diversity and from New York and so many people. So it clicks. So we are speaking here in the Alagos Radio and the the Alagos Interview Series with uh, Despina Kotsis, uh, Greek American fashion designer, the age of 19, already making a name for herself in the world of fashion, and speaking to us today from New York. So Despina, uh, continuing on the topic of Greece and looking at some of your future work, uh, how might you like to involve Greece or any sort of Greek inspirations into your work going forward? And more broadly, what are your future plans for Minx? So to involve Greece with my line, um, I've been designing already. Uh, I can't tell you what because it's a secret, but the new collection will be out hopefully in the fall. Involving Greece with my line, uh, it's kind of like what I see inspires me. Once I get an idea, um, it just naturally flows. It's not something I should really think about. But going to Greece, I took a lot of pictures and videos. So I had a lot of things inspire me from the architecture to even the food, the colors, so in the future, I'm honestly hoping for the best. I don't know what it's going to bring, but I'm hoping to finally go from an online store to an actual store. And I would love to open a store starting in New York and then going globally, um, Greece, Italy, anywhere like that would be really awesome. So I'm hoping for the best. Finally, before we wrap up. Where can our listeners find you? You mentioned, of course, an online store as well. Where can they find out more about Minx and also your presence on social media? So I have a website. It's called minxnewyork.com. Uh, if you guys want to search that up, the whatever's left from the remaining collection should be online. Um, and I also am heavy on Instagram. So if you want to search up Minx New York on Instagram, as long as my along with my personal Instagram desk coats uh you guys could find me there so that would be cool awesome well vespina thank you so much for taking the time to join us today here on the alagos radio and the alagos interview series it was a pleasure having you on and also to uh, close out our broadcast season on this very interesting very high note and i wish you the best of luck with your work and efforts going forward and hopefully we'll bring you back again in the future Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. This was so dope. Really awesome. Thank you.